Hi, welcome to CSCMA. In this video, we are going to learn about the structure chart and what kind of symbols it uses to design a structure chart by using a and examples. Before learning about the structure charts, first we know what are what are the software analysis and design tools. As we know that the development team uses a lot of the software analysis and design tools to develop a better develop a better software system within the given time and the low cost the software analysis and design tools are basically basically the group of activities that helps the helps to transforming of the requirement specification into the implementations and these tools are listed here data data flow diagram a structure chart hierarchical input process output and the input process output a structure chart what is the structure chart a structure chart is a chart that is derived from the dfd data flow diagram and it represents the system into the more details than the dfd it used to breaks down the entire system into the lowest functional modules and describes the functions and sub functions of each module of system to greater detail than the dft a structure chart to used to represents the hierarchical structure of the modules that are used into the software system to develop a software product Let's learn about the building blocks uh, that uh, a structure chart used to design a, a structure chart. Okay. The first symbol of the building block of a structure chart is a rectangle that used to represents the module, and the module name is incided within the rectangle here. And the second symbol that a structure chart used that is the control pass arrow. and this control pass error represents the passes of control from one module to another module and the third symbol is the data flow arrow here data flow arrow used to represents the flow of data from one module to another module into the software system and the double edges rectangle here double edges rectangle is also known as the library module it used to it usually used when a module is invoked by many other module it is into a library module and the fifth symbol is a diamond as same as the flow chart diamond is used to represents the con conditions into the structure chart and on the basis of the conditions data flow is to be determined from one module to another module. and the next symbol is the curve diagram here is the module with a curve and it represents the loop or the repetitions of a module that to be it rates the it rates on the basis of a defined conditions and the next symbol is a jump an arrow is showing pointing inside the module that represent the jumping of data or the control flow control flow from one module to another and these seven are the important building blocks of the structure chart and here is the example of the structure chart that is the payroll systems and all these arrow and the rectangles are represents the modules and data flow and the control flow here the generate payroll is a module that is connected to these modules and on the basis of the operations performs we use the arrow here this arrow is used to represents the control of the, that uh, provides the actions to end of a payroll and this is used used to represents the flow of data that is used that is the aggregated record and this is the structure chart example thank you thanks for watching in this video we have learned 
what is the structure chart and what kind of building blocks it uses to develop a structure chart with an example thank you thanks for watching